Hello guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial of graphic design. Today I'm going to show you how to design this colorful and wonderful logo in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. First, create a new document. Go to the file, new, choose this size and click OK. I will click cancel because I already created a new document. Now click on the rectangle tool and make rectangle like like this. Now go to the edit, copy, edit, paste in front and move this rectangle right here. Now click on the direct selection tool, choose the direct selection tool, click on this acre point, hold shift, click on this acre point. And move this object like this. Now move this object right here. Select select this objects and go edit, copy, edit, paste in front. And move object like this. Connect these parts. Now click on this subject, click on this subject, hold shift, edit, copy, edit, paste in front and do the same like last time. Now we have, now click on this pad, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in front and move this pad right here. We need five of these pads. One, two, three, four. Click on this object, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in front, and move object right here. Now right click on the mouse, click on arrange, click on transform, go to the reflect and type 19 degrees and click OK. Now move this object right here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, we need one more. Now click on this object, click on this object, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in front and move this object right here. Select all pads and move right here. Now it's time to color these pads. First click on this pad and go to the swatches and choose color. I will choose this pink color. Stroke, click on the stroke, click known, click on the fill and choose this color. Now click on the gradient tool and click right here. Now you, you now you have gradient and drag darker pink in this point and lighter to the left. Now move this a little bit more and now let's see how it looks. Let's rotate this right here and move it up. To look more realistic. Like this and do this darker to the lighter color. Click again and move it a little bit more.
now looks good. Now click on this subject and click right here. Click again on the gradient tool. Click rotate. Sorry, right. rotate up here and move this object. right here to the button let's see how it looks now click on the stroke, click no click again on the on this gradient tool now it looks more realistic Let's see another color, pink, click on this color, click on the stroke known, click on the fill and click on the gradient. Now choose a, choose a, choose a pink color again, a little bit light here, put right here. And put right here another color. Now move this subject. Click on this subject. Right click. Click on the mouse. Arrange and bring it front like this. Now click on the gradient tool. Click right here and rotate this tool like this. And move this right here. Rotate object and move it. Now it's good. Click on this path and click on the gradient. Click on stroke, click on no. Now click on the fill and click on the gradient tool. Let's rotate this and move it to the button. Let's see, now it looks good. Now click on this subject and let's see color orange. Click on the gradient slider, use orange, a little bit darker orange, and use a little bit lighter orange. Move this gradient slider right here. Now click on the so click no, click again on the fill and click on the gradient tool. Now rotate this again a little bit more and move this like move like this this pad and rotate Rotate again and move it like this. Now click on this pad, click on the gradient slider, click on the stroke, click no, click again on the fill, click on the gradient tool. And let's rotate. Rotate more and move to the button like this. Now click on this object, right click on the mouse, go to the range, go to center back. Now click on this object, let's see color, yellow. Click again on the stroke, click no, 
click on the fill and choose click on the gradient slider. Now choose a darker yellow color and put the put in right slider and choose a little bit lighter yellow and put to the left. Now click on the gradient tool and click on the object. Now rotate and make this move this now again rotate and sorry rotate again like this we want to make this dark to the lighter color you see dark light dark light dark light dark light color now click on this pad and click on the gradient slider now click on the stroke click no and click on the gradient tool now click on the fill and rotate this object right here and move now this is good click right click on the mouse arrange and send to back and the last one color is blue color click again on this pad Click on the stroke, click choose stroke, click no, click again on the fill and click gradient. Now click on the swatches, take a little bit darker blue, move this right here and use a little bit lighter blue. Now click on the gradient tool and rotate. Rotate this, rotate like this, and move this gradient right here. Now it looks good. Now click on this pad and click on the gradient, click on the gradient slider. And click on show, click no, click again on the fill, click on the gradient tool and rotate this gradient. Rotate, rotate. Like this. And move this gradient right here now right click on the mouse click arrange click to send to back our logo is almost done now it looks realistic and beautiful there is two things to do now click on this ellipse tool make ellipse like this we want to make a shadow now click on the gradient click on the swatches and use this first color it is white color and choose this a little bit darker now go to the transparency if you don't have transparency go to windows 
and click on the transparency. And click on the subject and change transparency to 20%. Maybe 30. And move this right here. Click right click on the mouse and arrange send to back. Let's see how it looks. You see the shadow. Now it looks good. Now click on this shadow, hold shift, hold alt and move this shadow, duplicate this shadow and put right here. Click again on this shadow and click hold shift, hold alt and move right here and do this again. Click on object, shift, alt, hold shift, hold alt and move this right here. Click right here, click shift, hold alt and duplicate again. Click again, shift, alt and move right here. Now I forget to put the shadow right here and I will copy again, shift, alt and move. Now it looks more realistic and the final ta touch is to click on the rectangle tool and make rectangle like this outside this rectangle outside this background and make this now go to the gradient delete this point go to swatches and use white color right here a little bit darker color now click on the radial and move this point right here to get more realistic now click on this big rectangle right click on the mouse arrange send to back and our logo is finished now it looks good you have a full background realistic and beautiful logo thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe because I every week upload new videos and new tutorials thanks for watching